evaluate integral 0 to infinity cos x by 1 plus x square into dx. Okay, so the given integral is integral 0 to infinity cos x by 1 plus x square into dx. Okay, the given integral having the limit 0 to infinity and the integral function having trigonometrical term. Therefore, this is contour integral of type 3. So, in this type, consider consider an upper half circle upper half circle C such that C is minus R to plus R plus gamma that is from the diagram you consider this is y axis this is x axis x axis is a real axis y axis is the imaginary axis an upper half circle this is upper half circle ok minus r to plus r so what is c here c is minus r to plus r plus gamma the curved region you take it as gamma ok so c is minus r to plus r and gamma so this is c so from the diagram the integral can be written as integral over c f of z d z it represent entire half circle it is minus r to plus r minus r to plus r but the minus r to plus r lies only in the x-axis so that you have to write f of x dx plus gamma interval over gamma f of z dz ok so by by Jordan lemma Jordan lemma as r tends to infinity as r tends to infinity interval over gamma f of z dz equal to 0 this is by Jordan lemma so substituting here as r tends to infinity minus infinity to plus infinity this integral becomes 0 this this is only will give ok so now integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx is equal to as r tends to infinity this 0 only this integral over c f of z dz ok here integral 0 to integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x is given function cos x by 1 plus x square into dx is equal to integral over c f of z so convert x in terms of z so cos z by 1 plus z square into dz ok but the cos z is real part of e power i z so real part of e power i z divided by 1 plus z square into d z ok so now we can apply Cauchy residues theorem Cauchy residues theorem is integral over c f of z d z equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues of f of z ok so this is Cauchy residues theorem here I am going to apply Cauchy residues theorem here real part of this is interval over c f of z dz so that 2 pi i into sum of the residues sum of the residues residues of f of z take this is equation number 1 where where f of z is equal to this is f of z e power i z divided by 1 plus z square now next I want to find out the residues of f of z to find the residues first find the pole by equating the denominator 0 so equating the denominator 0 1 plus z square equal to 0 z square equal to minus 1 so z equal to plus or minus i so there are two poles plus i and minus y and both are simple pole from the diagram all the positive imaginary values are lies inside the circle C 
all the negative imaginary values are lies outside the circle C. So here I lies inside the circle C minus I lies outside the circle C. So that I am going to find out residue for I only. Okay, so this is the formula for residue for the simple pole is it equal to A. But here simple pole is I. So A is equal to I. So find the residue. Residue of F of Z at Z equal to I is equal to limit Z tends to I Z minus I into F of Z. What is F of Z? F of Z is E power I Z divided by Z square plus 1. So this is f of z. But in the denominator can be split into two parts. z minus i into e power i z divided by this term can be written as z plus i into z minus i. z minus i, z minus i cancel. Now you substitute i for z. So e power substitute i, i into i, i square, i square minus 1 by substitute i here, i plus i, 2i. So this is the residue for z equal to i. Only one pole lies inside the circle C. Therefore, we have only one residue. Substituting, substituting in the given first equation, you will be getting answer. So, what is the first equation? The first equation is integral over minus infinity to plus infinity cos x by 1 plus x square into dx is equal to real part of 2 pi i into sum of the residues, sum of the residues of f of z. So this is the first equation. Here real part of 2 pi i into sum of the residues but we have only one residue e power minus 1 by 2i. Cancel 2i. Remaining we have real part of pi uh, 2i mean pi into e power minus 1. So only real part. So the real part value is pi into e power minus 1. But the question is we want to find out 0 to infinity. You see cos x is a even function. 1 plus x square also even function. So the entire function is even function. So this can be written as 2 times of 0 to infinity cos x by 1 plus x square into dx is equal to pi into e power minus 1. So that you can take to this side. So integral 0 to infinity cos x by 1 plus x square into dx is equal to pi by 2 into e power minus 1. So this is the answer of the problem.